Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, with regards to the lag, it's my ISP throttling me. Uh, I'll explain it at half time. Um, I've turned the bitrate down, so quality might be slightly poorer, but hopefully it's going to be somewhat smooth for you guys. Um, probably smoother than it was before. Let me know in the chat. Try and keep me updated with how it is. And if it's still lagging, try and change the Twitch servers. So. First frags are going to come in for the Netherlands. There's another one from Kaz King who's been on fire in the past few maps. And Hit is all by himself. And well, the terrorists, they went and bought on this round. But they couldn't really make anything of it. And like you said earlier on, Pepsi, the advantage was always going to be to the team who started as CT. And uh, the advantage certainly looks in uh, to be in the... Uh, I've got a bit of a tongue twister. The advantage certainly looks to be in Netherlands' favour at the moment. Counter-terrorists win. Yeah, we just saw them trying to push inside the guys from our 3M, but didn't go quite well since the guys just inside just sprayed them down. So, taking a look at the scoreboard, Cast with 8 kills, no deaths yet for Cast. so fair, fair play Cast King. So fair play to him, Faux fair play to him. So fair play to him, slain with four kills, one death. Mike and uh, Yufir both with three kills, and Vin with only one kill, one death. We'll have a look at the Austrian scoreline in a bit. Smoke shot from Hit. Hits Mike through the smoke, and hopefully that's going to be a sign of intent for the Austrians. Maybe, just maybe, they can use that frag and go on to better things. Maybe get round number one on the board for themselves. Vin is watching Ramp Room. With that AK-47. Spots Trabby. And the question now is, are they going to try and push him? Or perhaps vent dive and go to the lower bomb site? They have control, more or less control of outside. They've made their way all the way to front steps. Uh, as we can see, Bad Today is just chilling here in front steps. And, you know, at the moment it could be a push on the A bomb site or a push onto the B bomb site. With both bomb sites being on top of each other. The thing I love about Nuke is that it always keeps the counter terrorists guessing. So Cast King is gonna is anticipating someone potentially coming, he's gonna spot one and gets the first kill. He's gotta reload that um uh, M4 silencer with only 20 bullets, but deals with the second one nicely. Three on three now, make that three on two. Cast King was dropped, and here comes one of the CT through the vent. He was slain, who slays Cedril. Two on two, slains on three HP. Down he goes, and it's all up to Unfair. But just as I say that, Trabby takes him out. I believe it, 4-1. Yeah, great play by Austria there. Taking, go, deciding to... Three guys going from uh, the ramp room and going pushing down ramp while two of the guys pushing from under. So despite losing that round, Netherlands can still buy. It's a fair play to them. Of course, if they do go on to lose this round, they might be in a bit of financial bother. So the smokers uh, be dispersed outside. It's going to make his way towards main as Slane lands that headshot onto Cedral. And finally, we've seen a bit of movement, we've seen a few kills coming from the Austrians here. Coming from the, uh, well, coming from both sides here at the moment. So Austria yet to get a kill this round. Vin's dropped down towards the B bomb site. We've got three terrorists making their way, including the bomb, to this uh, ramp room area. Most of the time when you hit ramp room, you do see a plant on the B-bomb site, unless the terrorists decide to go under heaven and infiltrate the A-bomb site, of course. That's the thing about nuke, both bomb sites on top of each other. So, back today, spots one. He's been shot at himself. The CT has rotated really fast to this lower bomb site. Slain slays Trabby. And back today and staff are going to the throw, but they've got this person to deal with first. And they will certainly don't deal very well with him. Ufir takes him out and Slane gets his second of the round. Staff is the last man standing all by himself and surely he's going to fall to his death. He most certainly does. 5-1. Yeah, and great difference by Netherlands there. Taking, just taking it slow and waiting for him as it should be. Some 
people asking in regards to whether Vin is from uh, CSS or CS 1.6. I do believe he's from CSS, assuming I'm thinking he's the same Vin. He had uh, a bit of a hacker's reputation in Source, assuming this is the same Vin. So someone in the chat correct me if I am incorrect. But so far he looks relatively clean. He's got one kill and two deaths, so if he is hacking, I've got bad news for him, his hacks aren't working very well. So nobody, uh, no Time to get your money back. Yeah, he'll have to get a refund on his Organa or X22 or whatever hacks exist for CSGO. So Slain takes out Staff with a uh, shot through the uh, metal. Vin with three, and I just uh, said his hacks weren't working. They definitely were working there. Four man from Vin. Don't know whether it was Vin or his uh, good friend Organa, but... Uh, that's an extra round on the board for Netherlands as they increase their tally to 6-1. So Austria now eco in. Of course, they did buy the last round. They tried to hit ramp room, but unfortunately didn't succeed. On an eco round or something like this, would you rather push somewhere? Would you rather take it slow and be wary of the fact that the CTs have bigger guns? What would your take or strategy on it be? Well, for me, it was rather be pushing quick because if you play too slow, the counter terrorists have way too way heavier guns, and their their gun is giving more damage. So if you just if you play it slow, it would more likely just be. They are the CTs just peeking you out. Fair enough, I can't argue with that. Same uh, opinion as me. Which, of course, is the right opinion. Great minds think alike, is what they say. I'm sure there's someone in the chat who's going to beg to differ, but still. So, the terrorists they've bought up now. And it looks like they've upped their tempo a little bit, perhaps. Vin waiting at ramp room. Smoke shot from Vin onto hit. I think he's listening to us actually, I think he's toggled them on. <laughs> so, 5 versus 4, Austria man down already, thanks to Vin. And with three terrorists, including the bomb going towards ramp room, we could see some sort of B split here perhaps. Staff is running back towards lobby, so Sergio lands the upshot onto Vin. Levels things up, Cass hiding behind the wall and the terrorists, they know he's dead but they've got no smokes, they've got no flashes to counter it. Fortunately, took him out eventually, thanks to Bad Today, AK-47. So both teams sparring at each other. 45 seconds remaining, and Austria at the... Well, they've got to push a bomb site here somewhere. They've got to get the bomb down, because the CTs, they're going to be more than happy to hold on to this um, uh, unplanted state that the game is in. 30 seconds now, and it looks like they're going to possibly try and get the bomb down on this lower bomb site. Bad today most certainly is. Now he goes, and now are the CTs going to counter this? Mike has got a big green gun in the AWP. It's very difficult and very vers uh, not very versatile when it comes to retaking bomb sites. Cedril blows slain to smithereens, and we just might see Austria's second round on the board. Definitely doesn't look like the CTs are going to go for it. And do you think that's the uh, sensible and correct decision to make from them, or do you think it could have been winnable at three on two? It could be winnable if they try to push out through the door on uh, one through the door and one through the end. But still, the headset will on the ramp, so he could do some damage as well by going down peak. So it's a uh, it was like at fifty fifty percent of chance. So. Yeah, well, it's good to know that he, uh, one of the 50% was uh, in Austria's favour because it's made the game slightly more less one-sided. And it's 7-2. I mean, ideally, T-side nuke. How many rounds do you think Austria will be looking for in an ideal world? Well, hard to say, but in an ideal world, in the first half, uh, mostly going for the last round there is... So oh, first blood from Trabi onto you fear. At five versus four, anything can happen. Slain once again Slain's pulled off some beautiful shots into Hut. And 
was uh, even, player-wise, last time Austria managed to get the bomb down, which was the last round, of course. I mean, in reality, Austria's main aim should be to just try and get the bomb down, because just how... S just nuke his CT sided, because it's so easy to hold the bomb sites and prevent people rushing into the bomb sites. And as soon as the bomb goes down, you've got the terrorists suddenly playing the role that the CTs were previously playing. So that's what Austria want to do now. They want to get the bomb down. They want to be playing their favoured role, well, anyone's favoured role on Nuke, which of course isn't pushing the bomb sites, rather protecting the bomb sites. So Cass King takes out Cedril, who was an AWPA. And at four versus three, let's see if Netherlands can take advantage of the man advantage they have. CTs all over this bomb site. They spot one. They don't deal any damage onto hit. But Slane finally takes him out. The defuse starts. And Staff is going to peek. As Vin... No, he was Casking who took him out. And a good retake from the Netherlands. They use that man advantage. And uh, at 8-2, Austria really... Uh, they need more rounds. It's as simple as that. Yeah, they do. Unless they're hoping to do an... Uh... Nip versus uh, very games, but yeah, they should uh, certainly still need some uh, more rounds. They need at least four rounds to have a chance as a CT, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Four or five rounds is really ideal on Nuka's terrorists, and with them eco in now, I can't see him really winning this round either. So. Let's wait and see. Hopefully, we might see a, new, uh, yeah, a nice little spray down coming our way from you, Fear, perhaps. Oh no, look, Slane's made his way behind him. He spots one, two from Slane already. Slane slays three in a row. Good stuff. Good anti eco strap from him. And uh, they now going to try and track Cedril down. And Slane makes it four for himself. So, just as I said, it would have been nice to see a nice little spray down. Slane heard what I said and delivered a nice anti-eco format. Never yeah, good play by Slane there, closer. going so aggressive. Sorry about that, go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as, as I was saying, smart play by Slane going aggressive outside, pushing it straight, and then he, then he didn't see anyone outside, then he could easily tell his teammate that they were around lobby and just waiting. So the terrorists they finally bought and hit has an orb. Zedril will get that first kill onto Slane. Who's Slane, of course, he was a bit of a handful in the previous round. But they have managed to shut him down now, which is good news. Then once again holding ramp, which is something we've seen uh, well from him throughout this CT side for the Netherlands on Nuke. And finally we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see this rush onto uh, onto ramp. Vin throws that flash, but he doesn't land in the most ideal position. And we just might see a push onto this lower B bomb site. Austria, they have to get the bomb down. Come on, Austria. Let's be having you. Let's see what you're made of there. Shooting the vents down. They're going to spot one. Bad today takes out the trash. And now they've got to try and use this man advantage, but they most certainly do not. As Vin and, and you fear getting a kill apiece, leaving Serial all by himself. Surely he's not going to pull something off. He gets two kills. Two kills, and with Vin on 12 HP, all Cedril has to do is plant the bomb or take Vinator out just like that. And out of nowhere, Austria are back in with a shout. Three rounds uh, to Austria, leaving it 9 3. Yeah, there were some great shots from Cedril there. Taking first the guy in the, behind the bomb site and then taking the guy in the window and just slightly better taking it slow since he knew where Win was. Now that Austria finally got an around on the board, hopefully they can use that to their advantage. Maybe you know, build a little bit of momentum. Take over bomb site. Get the bomb down, of course, when they do plant the bomb, all their players get a nice little cash injection. Which will definitely help their cause in the few uh, forthcoming rounds. Mike opens up Squeaky, but Cedril greets him with an AK shot to the face. Ufiz takes a look at Squeaky, lands the shot onto Bad Today's head, and now it is four versus three. The terrorists need to get the bomb down, they spot. Kasking making his way into heaven. 
and dink him in the process. So where's this bomb then? Come on, guys. Get the bomb down. Certainly taking their time. It will drop Vinita. We'll try and go a little bit too early. Down goes Casking. And surely now you fear can't pull a clutch off. And it's been good from Austria these past two rounds. At two rounds, it looked like they were probably out of the game. But now they're going to have four rounds under the belt. Like we, like we said, in an ideal world, they'll want a good uh, amount of four or five rounds. So let's see how he develops for them. Hit is tracking Yufi down from the back. And he doesn't miss from there. And I'll tell you what, 9-6 is still possible for Austria. And if they do manage to get 9-6... Uh, well, Netherlands, they're going to have to produce a good T side as well if they want to stay in the game. Yeah, they certainly do. So, once again, all terrorists making their way into lobby, pushing hot a little bit, trying to get a cheap early frag, but not much luck doing that. Mike has been spammed a little bit through the metal, but he's still on 89 HP, we'll live to fight another day. A little bit of movement going on in the computer room, possibly a little bit of uh, button pressing as well. With a minute to go, there's still plenty of time the terrorists to uh, decide where they want to make their move. It looks like they're just really playing some at the moment. Trying to get that first frag and build on it. That's most certainly what they're going to attempt to try and do now to make their way into ramp room. Slain once again taking out Cedril in Hut. So, that was one of many for Slain. Very cheap kills for him, just at Hut. But a kill's a kill, he won't mind. He's uh, helping the cause. Trubby takes out Mike, and uh, here we go, they've made their way to this lower bomb site. well, just about made their way to this lower bomb site. they know Vin's on site, he's peeking, he spots one, but unfortunately hit, did not hit his AWP shot, he's going to throw that nade, which will deal quite a fair bit of damage, around 30 HP onto Vin, a slow round from Austria, and again, when Austria have taken it slow, they've been pushing into places one by one, and it hasn't really paid off for them, and I'm not sure whether they've noticed that. Um, I mean, the last two or three rounds, the last two rounds which they did win, it just looked like they uh, pushed all together into the lower B-bomb site. And uh, this last round, they all tried pushing into different places at once, and it most certainly didn't pay off for them. So now they're going to try and get 10-5, and do you think they'll do it? They've obviously, last round, they've got a few gallows floating about. What do you think they need to do to get this important fifth round on the board? Because, you know, at the end of this game, it might be a big deciding factor. Well, they certainly need to do what worked their uh, rounds. They need, really need to push together. It's been seen a lot that people just, when people just go and try to peek, then certainly they get peeked out and uh, then they down on a one man low and uh, they and then they don't have a that bonus uh, like they don't quite have that uh, opportunity to do much so it was looking good for Austria there were two men up but they uh, they threw it away but it's still 2-2 now so at 2-2 it's surprising how much of a 50-50 uh, sided map Nuke becomes when there's suddenly a lot less counter terrorists on the map. So, the bomb's gone down. Vin is going to rotate through lobby. Chaos King is going to rotate through outside. Vin gets taken down by Cedril and they know exactly where Cedril is. Chaos King throws that nade. Just might blow Cedril. Oh, look at this. Cedril is on 5 HP. Chaos King knows exactly where he is. And delivers with the goods, and we are going to have 11-4 in favour of the Netherlands. And I'm just going to be right back for a second. Uh, it looks like one of the Netherlands players has gone AFK as well, so I'll just be right back.
All right, I'm back. I think my game's crashed. No, the uh, server's just looks like the server's being paused. But yeah, yeah looks like. In case anyone's wondering with regards to uh, the lag thing I was on about, basically what happens is my ISP throttle me. So when I've been up uploading, which you obviously do when you stream for around an hour and a half, two hours, they basically turn my upload speed down to let other people in the area have their own share of the internet. So that's when the lag, the lag kicked in. But hopefully I won't have that issue in a few days' time when I yeah, move back to university. Of course, remember to follow this Twitch channel. I get an email every time these European Championship games go live. And obviously, I do work for a Nexus Esports, so as soon as they pull their finger out, and <laughs> probably shouldn't be saying that, as soon as they get a uh, CSGO team, all their games will be casted live on here as well. Um, Anexus uh, didn't disband. Anexus are obviously an organization. The actual CSGO team themselves disbanded after after they were well. They left the organization. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I think uh, their performance wasn't deemed sufficient at uh, the Prague Challenge or something along those lines. Which was a shame, really, because I actually like that Anexus lineup. A lot of ex Source players. All British lineup, but oh well. So pistol round, double nades outside, triple nades outside. Not that much damage dealt actually. And down goes the first casualty, who was you fear? And that five versus three, make that five versus four. Austria can still get the bomb down. The Netherlands, sorry, can still get the bomb down. What's going on? Come on, auto die. Cooperate. So, three versus three now. Mike making his way towards front steps. Two Glock shots from Mike. Good stuff. And the CTs now. They've been spotted in vent. Staff lands the headshot onto Slane. And at two versus two, we've got one player with a decent amount of HP and one player with low HP for both sides before Trabi went down. So, they spotted the last CT. And I'll tell you what, Netherlands went down, but they made some changes and responded man ma magnificently. 12-4. They should go on to win this round now, and the round after that. And uh, at 14-4, I think it's safe to say the team who lost the first map will most likely emerge as victors of this entire game. Yeah, to show the. Uh... So, there's a circle from Mike, two from Mike, good Mac 10 power from Mike, Vin with his uh, special powers onto bad today, and we are going to see a plant onto this B bomb site now. You feel just waiting around behind for perhaps someone rotating, wow, Trabi with two kills on that lower bomb site before getting shut down by Mike, he took down the person who was trying to plant the bomb, and are we finally going to see the bomb on the uh, bottom of this B bomb site, finally there it is. And there's the last kill, auto director not cooperating. And 13-4, uh, I don't really see a way back in it for Austria. So the terrorists they have. And a few gallows here and there. You feel and the headshot onto Bad today. Who played very well on this too, but I think it's safe to say that they're on you. Very bad today. So it's nice to hear. Slain slays Trabi outside. And a bit of a, a bit of an outside um uh, bit of an outside uh, stack coming in from Austria. The team kill for Netherlands doesn't help either. Hopefully Cast King can pull this shot off. Surely, there it is. Took his time, but a kill to kill. And he's going to get the second and going to secure round number 14 for Netherlands. So one more is all the Netherlands need to secure the draw. And of course, two more is what they need at this point to secure the win. Austria finally bought up. I don't 
think it has an up. Oh no, he does. He does have an up. Lovely lightning strike up. So now, how do you? How would you like to see the Austrians set up now on this CT side? Well, I want to see like one on the ramp and just cutting if they run pushing and just one standing uh, at this back up onto ramp or outside. Just like being a runner to uh, everywhere and uh, then two guys being out uh, inside and one in uh, close to garage so CT red. Fair enough, so 3-3. Three, three. And well, this round could still go in Netherlands' favour. All three of them are outside. Whilst there's only one CT, which is of course Trabby on this lower bomb site. So let's just wait and see how it unfolds. Kes King is making his way towards beneath heaven. Hopefully he doesn't he don't shatter the glass. No, he doesn't. Oh, look at this. They're doing the boost. They're going to boost someone into heaven from outside. And we know that there's a CT in heaven. Actually, no, he's fallen back. It's Cedri. But if they do manage to get into heaven... There we go. No, it was bad today. Bad today. They did have someone in heaven. And now they might just might try and attack this upper A bomb site. Now, Vin... Boosting his teammate, and uh, let's see what's going to come of it. Yeah, that's not very much. So it was a good, decent idea from him initially, but it doesn't look like the uh, idea has really been executed very well. But Vin just might rest. No, he's not. He's nowhere near the bomb, and he's going to run out of time. And obviously, when you run out of time like that, you don't get any money. So uh, I don't think he'll be too happy about it. But Austria most certainly will. Getting the exit frag there, and uh, round number five on the board, 14-5. And Austria are hanging on to this game by the skin of their teeth. So I think we've got an, an eco from the terrorists. So, eco from the terrorists, let's see if they are going to push like you said earlier on. Uh, oh, look at that. They've uh, had a few nades to the face hit. And uh, what's he called? Staff getting a kill along with Cedri. And so far, typical Eco Bash. I think it's only a matter of time until they finish off these last terrorists. Down goes Mike. And the last terrorist, well, is Cas King with only a Glock. And he's sat in vents. So let's see what he can do with it. Spot one. But a Glock is no match for a Famas. 14 6. And you know what? If Netherlands go on now to win this round, we just might have 16-6 again. <laughs> yeah, actually, they could be here. They could happen. So we saw Netherlands pick up three rounds as terrorists here on Nuke. They were, of course, up against Austria with small guns, with pistols. Now Austria have big guns. Been a bit of a uh, bit of a struggle for them. But they did come close in the not in the previous round, the round before that, where it was a one versus one. They just unfortunately ran out of time. They went for the uh, heaven boost or crow's boost from outside. Didn't pay off. Well, it paid off for them, but uh, the, the time ran out. So, how are the terrorists going to ex execute this strat? Taking their time. They're smoking the garage once again. Make sure they can't get picked off. They're taking their time, they're just waiting for the CTs to possibly make a mistake. And Hit made a mistake there, definitely. And uh, Mike punishes him. So, there is one man up now. Can they edge closer? Can they increase their tally to 15? That's what they want to do. Down goes Staff, thanks to you, Fear. And we find the Netherlands onto one of these bomb sites. And again, again, it's another case of one team having a two-man advantage and throwing it away. Netherlands were five on three. Now it's three on three. I don't get it. They knocked out two of the CTs on the A bomb site. Push it. Don't give the CTs time to rotate back down to the lower bomb site and get the bomb down. But it's not what they've done. And well, in my book, that was that that, that was a poor that was a poor poor round from the Netherlands. I'm not sure what you think. Yeah, in my opinion, it was also performance they they got the two early kills and as i said earlier that if they, you get the first kill on outside you have to overview like or you have the most chances to do what and uh <laughs> you see the cities the, yeah. 
I shot by my guess. Uh, but the CTs have to like take a chance and say, okay, they will come there. And then if they're wrong, then it's like you're pretty. It's pretty uh, sad because you have a close combat to get the T's if they went the other side. Let's see what we're going to see from the terrorists who are decoing. Sedril. Oh no, Sedril had to reload at the wrong time. Oh, he used a little reload glitch. He's had to pull out his, P, his, P, his, P, his new SP. Got three kills. And Bad Today helped him out with two kills of his own. And Austria are uh, one step closer now. Surely we're not going to see an Austrian comeback. We've got guns now in the gloves of the players from the Netherlands. And all they need is this, this, this one round to get 15. And I think once you hit 15, and uh, your opposition know that they can't win the game anymore, it can sometimes be a, a bit of a mental disadvantage. But here we go. Here's some a little bit of fun happening. Sendry onto Vinitor, and New Fear onto another player I can't see because of the flash. Leaving it four on four, but the terrorists have full, more or less full control of this A bomb site. All they need to do now is, uh, of course, plant the bomb. They've smoked heaven out. That's a very good smoke. And now bad today is pretty much crippled. He can't do anything. Slain gets taken out through the vent, thanks to Trabby. And the terrorist, where is this bomb, guys? You need to plant the bomb. Trabby running circles all around the terrorists. And finally, I think they heard me. They're finally planting the bomb. Go on the hunt for a few more CTs. He spots one, gets a second. Hit takes down New Fear. And Kasking runs out of ammo in the wrong time. And Austria are one step closer to tying it up. I mean, we've seen a, we saw a great comeback here in the European Championships on a previous game. I can't quite remember what countries were playing. But uh, if Austria managed to pull a comeback here and win 16-14, I think it'll be safe to say that this comeback will beat the comeback I saw the other day. Once again, they bought up. New Fear has an AWP as well, so he'll be challenging Hit, who of course is the CT AWPer outside. And there's a first frag from Bad Today. Kai's King looks like he might try and make his way into Ramp Room, lands the headshot onto Kai's King before falling back. Mike has just been using those smokes to his advantage outside. But oh no, he spots Hit, and Hit has the AWP, and he just might use that to his advantage. Staff coming up. He went through the vents and came all the way around the back of front steps. And got that kill onto Vin and Austria. Looked good for round number 10. Mike only on 17 HP. And down he goes. And the bomb's going to get spotted now at long. The rest of the terrorists need to pick it up. Hit missing at another crucial shot. But with 30 seconds to go, more or less, it still looks good for Austria. Ufi has that AWP. He's finally... He hasn't picked up the bomb just yet, actually. Bomb's to his left. He's going to throw that nade into the garage. And are you going to pick up the bomb or not? Doesn't seem like he's going to pick up the bomb. He will get that frag. Two frags. Are, oh, wow. It was four versus two in favour of Austria. And here we go again. Same old story. Austria throwing it away. But in the nick of time, Staff pops out of front steps and gets a frag. So, with five seconds remaining, I don't think Kai's King really stands a chance of this. He just might catch a glimpse of the CT, which he does, but he's not going to shoot because he knows he's on 12 HP and would rather save that AK for this round. So, Austria, they weren't very good on T side, but so far so good for him on CT side. Yeah, showing off how they're holding the sides, like Netherlands did, showing that this side is un uh, unbreakable. So the terrorists have uh, bought up AKs and rushed right into this upper bomb. So this is what we're here to see. Two from Staff. Good stuff from Staff. New Fear tracks him down and nails him in the head with the AK. Hit holding that angle with the AWP. Pulls the shot off and it's kills galore at the moment. So down goes bad today thanks to Mike. Wow. Terrorists are simply pushing from different angles. Mike exploding over Austria at the moment. 
And Netherlands are so close to round number 15. Now, what has happened to GoTV? GoTV's messed up, as it always seems to do when we hit the 15th round in these EFRAG CSGO European tournaments. But the good news is that Netherlands, they took a bit of a gamble. Um, obviously, I don't know what you think, but that rush straight into the A-bomb site is very different to what we've seen him do so far on T-side. It's paid off for him, and they've secured that round number 15. Yeah, if it's like if any nothing works and you see that you have to do something new, it's quite good to do what they just did. Make a quick push inside. So first blood's gonna go to Casking onto Trabi. Now the terrorists have complete control of the ramp room. Are they gonna go down towards the lower bomb site or are they gonna carry on going towards the upper bomb site? Casking gets his second. And he is rallying the troops at the moment. He wants Netherlands to get 16 rounds and finish this game and uh, emerge victorious with a score of 16-10. The Austrians, they've got to stay concentrating. They don't want to get complacent. We've seen Netherlands throw away two men advantages before. But we haven't seen them throw away any three-man advantages, which is exactly what they have at the moment. Hit misses those crucial orb shots. And with him being the last man standing, Netherlands are getting ever so closer. Oh, hit hits his shot, but misses the no-scope. And it's about bloody time Netherlands win the game. And at 16-10, Netherlands, well, they won they lost the first map on Dust 2. But they won Mirage, and they've won Nuke, and they will qualify for the next round. Emerging 2-1 winners overall yeah, there was some great maps played there was they played there lots of entertaining entertainment so I think it's uh like you said, it was a very entertaining game, especially when the underdogs stole the first map, but they couldn't quite hold on to it. And that is going to be it from us today, guys. Um, there's a bit of lag going on, so we're not going to jump into the Estonia-Latvia game. I'm not sure whether that game's finished, actually. Let me have a look. No, it didn't finish. They just started on the second map. Oh, have they? Okay. But yeah, um, uh, yeah. yeah, that's it from us today, guys. And uh, remember to follow the Twitch channel. I've been Kyanite, and with me today has been Pepsi. And as always, guys, thanks for tuning.